being an emotionally intelligent and aware and accepting man is very rare. Like I will scream about that from the top of my lungs. Like I'm very proud to say that I'm one of those men like yourself. I think we're very rare. Um, but it comes with a lot of weight because you try to set that example. You try to, you know, you try to, share that experience share that love share that example of 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 trying not not even my example is right it's just hi i'm trying to set a better example why don't you join me on this journey and then they go oh no you're weak or or they go oh, i'm really proud of you but i can't do that for me well why not i've done it why can't you like like and then that makes me angry because i'm I, like i well, totally i totally relate to that yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and like and then and then you get the 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 fakes and I don't, I don't want to call them fakes I think that's really offensive because at least they're on the journey but they get to a point of complacency yeah it's called and bypass it's, yeah heart bypass yeah, yeah 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 and they and they just they just sit in this one place and they don't yeah. want to go when any they're further. comfortable yeah yeah and 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 I think that's more damaging than the people that are refusing to start the journey because yeah. it's almost as if they get to the journey say that this is the end point and then everyone's like well what's the fucking point yeah, like what's the point of me doing it yeah. when when that's the end goal? I and it's I, like... I I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. That's a really um big point that I focus on. My partner is the the um the spiritual community um has a uh, really toxic roots. Um, yeah. they, there's a lot of spiritual bypass where they like to sit in the light, but they don't go don't go into their grief or their pain. And when you shine, someone like you, because you you talk about you know showing people um that you're doing something i i never had that that conscious attitude i was just like i need to i need to i want to be happy i, I was always seeking joy because when i was such when i was a child i was i was so in love with life so mm. in love. i was just and i was just me and as i grew people didn't like me being me especially yeah. parts of my family and and they they took those parts of me bit by bit because Innocence is so powerful that it kills, it kills the ego, it kills yeah. darkness, and that causes pain in people and, and they shout at you and try to change you and limit you and and berate you. And I I was berated and, and changed and defiled. Um and oh, sorry, not defiled, um like destroyed, annihilated, um, from from the inside out and the outside in. And the 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 process of of um, retrieving those parts of yourself, you, you you I didn't believe it. I didn't believe that I could ever get myself back. Men don't believe that, and nobody believes I, that. You know, it, it, I, 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 women I'm either. still battling with that now. I'm still battling with that now. Yeah. Yeah, but I've I've proven to myself that you can. Mm. I, I mean, there, there were parts of me that I just used to sit outside and play with the insects for hours. And I was like, I've missed that part of me. And I, I'm I'm reclaiming that. I'm I'm reclaiming my my connection to nature. I'm reclaiming my connection to being here. And yeah, not, you're being in a child fear of, and not being in fear of men, not, not being in fear of, of, of women, not being in fear of being betrayed. And I can't, I couldn't, and I can't, and I will not ever do that on my own. No. You can't do it's it on your own. You can't. Something you definitely have to do with other people. Yeah, you definitely have to share that. It has that, to be done bond. in love. It has mm. to be. Yeah. Mm. And, and you're doing that. You're doing that. You're doing that. No, I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Yeah. It's nice to, it's nice to, um, you know, it's nice to be seen. I think, I think men, again, this is my, my perspective and my experience. I'm not going to speak for anyone else, but I think, you know, based on that, I think men don't want to be loved. I don't think we want to be heard. I think we want to feel capable. I think we want to be made to feel strong. I think we want to be made to feel that we can face anything within ourselves as well, like internally and externally. And I think that's what gives us the capability to feel loved, to feel accepted, to feel like we're growing and, and being what we should be like as 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 a as a com commune within society yeah um mm -hmm. maybe 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 i'm a bit wrong i, I don't know but like no no I, it's you i'm not gonna say you're wrong at all yeah. that, that's completely your opinion um and and that's that's fine i just found that on on my on my journey 
that um the, the deepest wound for the masculine is actually not being heard and the deepest mass uh yeah. the deepest wound for the feminine is not being felt yeah yeah no 100 right? 100 so, so the woman isn't heard because she's the mirror of the masculine and the masculine is not felt because he's a mirror of the feminine and so we yeah. have these these wounds of not hearing each other and not feeling each other it's it really comes down to to those those two points because yeah. as as a man like you know what happened to you and how how can you speak up if you don't feel you're going to be heard you're not going to be felt and if if your feelings have been completely desecrated how are you supposed to feel yeah you go numb exactly you completely disassociate with your heart and you forget what love even means and this is what's happened to the brotherhood they've cast their heart aside they banish themselves from their heart because they don't feel that they deserve to reside there anymore yeah yeah. you're not wrong you're not wrong that's what I did to myself I banished myself from my heart to protect it and I remember the day I did that I remember the day I did that I must have been about six years old yeah and I was being beaten I can't remember that day <laughs> no it took me a long time to remember this day uh, Oliver it, it doesn't come back straight away but I, for me personally, I remember being beaten. And I remember saying, the only way I'm going to survive is if I change who I am. I'm going to have to fight back. That's still literally like, I'm not going to lie to you, Alistair. Like, that's literally how I still feel now. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And so I became, I became violent to survive. Yeah. And I fought back and it just created a never ending war and, uh, uh, a, a deeply wounded relationship with my family yeah. and yeah. um that was the day i gave up my um uh, a big piece of my heart because all i was doing oliver was just being love mm -hmm. and i and i was and the same for you all you were doing was being love being yourself and you were desecrated for it you were punished you were betrayed you were defiled for being love that is what is wrong with the brotherhood that is what is wrong with society mm. like what you said earlier about what it means to to be a man um it's this is just my opinion you don't you don't have to take this on board but to me that's societal programming we don't have to be uh rough and ready and rah 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 not at all mm. we we can be sensitive and and mm. protectors we can be fit <laughs> we can be gentle we can be everything a woman is and we can be everything that a man is mm. we don't have to accept societal programming yes we do have Masculine roles to protect to protect the feminine which means protecting nature 